Even Florida. And uh, we see this traffic going in and out of this skirting of this mobile home. So I'm about to suit up and uh, take a look at what's going on under there. Okay, so just to get a look at what this is like uh, before I even cut or peel anything back. This is how I found it. So you can see that it was breached a little bit, the plastic covering. Uh, that goes underneath here. You know, it's supposed to fully seal everything. But uh, this was hanging down right here. And it allowed them to get in. Now, they're not in that section right there. But they're in this section. And so I'm about to cut it back and reveal everything. And they're probably in between, you know, these two beams like that going all the way back to that area right there. Okay, I've opened up the plastic and I believe it's uh, relegated to this one section right here. Uh, I've kind of peeled it back oh, looking over here and over there and I don't think any colony is expanded to that point. So it's just in this one square foot area. All right, I'm about to uh, start vacuuming and uh, cut into them. Okay, the comb extended a little bit further back, you know, in this section right here. And I uh, got the bees from out of there, I think. <laughs> I, uh, for the most part, I don't think they've run back there too much. There's a few of them back there, but I sprayed Honey Be Gone back there, which is a natural almond oil uh, spray that I use just to keep bees out of an area. I don't spray it on the bees or kill them or anything like that. It's not a pesticide. It just keeps them out of an area. So, anyway, it's, uh, I think this is the entirety of the colony right here. All right, I'm gonna continue to vacuum. Okay, I've revealed them a little bit more. Try to get the, the sun glare from interfering. So I'm going to continue vacuuming a little more, uh, of which I will not subject anybody to. I think everybody knows how to vacuum. You don't need to be hearing all that noise. And then I'm going to start cutting this out and putting it into my hive over here. Look at all these bees on the uh, vacuum catchment or the vacuum cleaner. The queen may already be in there. They sure are attracted to it, so I may have gotten her early on. All right, let me continue. Okay, I've got all the comb cut out and uh, sprayed honey be gone in here so they won't land again. I don't spray it on the bees. It's not a pesticide. It just keeps them out of an area. So you can see back here too, there shouldn't be any bees. And um, I'm about to reunite all the bees into this hive right here. So let's have everybody sing along with me unless the lawnmower guy is going to be too noisy. 
All right. All right, here comes the reunited section of the program today. few of them got down there no big deal they'll find their way home by this evening into my hive oh look they're not one to land back anywhere where they were mm All right, I'm going to put the lid on them and uh, come pick them up later this evening at nightfall. everything set for now and I'll be back like I said uh, later this evening at nightfall to pick these girls up I'll get here about an hour before nightfall just to make sure there's no surprises as far as bees getting back up in their original spot and things like that it's all clear right now And also, you know, if bees are hanging out on the outside like this, I'll need to um, smoke them in. You don't want a bunch of bees on the outside at nightfall. You want to have everything under control once um, nightfall rolls around. Otherwise, you're going to have chaos. Before, about an hour before sunset. And... Um, Everything looks like it's settling in. Calm and collected. So uh, let me look under uh, the home and make sure there's no big surprises for me under here. I haven't even looked yet. Let's come on the other side. Nope, they're staying, they're staying put as they should, you know, in their, their new home. They don't really have any reason to come back in here because um, their brood and food is gone and obviously their queen too. Good deal. All right, here they are the next morning. I'm about to open them up and make sure everything's okay. Strip back my yard for the uh, spring and summer. <laughs> All 
All right, I opened them up, everything's good. They're covering the comb very well. Right now, it's a little bit of a needle in the haystack finding the queen. So, um, if she's not in here, they'll raise a new one. They have plenty of eggs and larvae in here. So, um, I'm not even worried about it. They won't even skip a beat. She could be bunched up on the wall like that. You just don't know. They're kind of uh, runny and shy in situations like this where uh, there's upheaval. See, they could be trying to protect her in that ball right there. You just don't know. Too hard to tell. Too much chaos at this point. But they're very healthy nonetheless. Okay. Close them up and let them mind their own business.